four days, a resilient community and an underground movement that is rising up. We're, we're one of the few inner urban cities that have hoop houses all over our neighborhood. So our kids that are coming in are trauma, kids that have had trauma and toxic stress associated with poverty. So we do do, all the teachers are trained in trauma-informed care and teaching. So mindfulness is a, um, a technique that gives kids tangible tools in which to cope with some of the stuff that's going on in their lives. Our place is we can say, we're going to have two employees that are going to be, and we're, we're looking at hopefully maybe expanding. There's other places really interested now in what we're doing, where we go out and connect with the community where they are, get them what they need, get them where they need to be. That's what hit home for me, is it's, it's an average family. It's just everyone. You know, how are you, how are you guys impacting and, and helping people get help? Well, primarily I work with, uh, with law enforcement here in Ohio, and a as a representative of FOA, I get to work with uh, the Drug Enforcement Administration. You're recovery guys, so you yeah, get recovery. Yeah. That's why it's important yeah, to have yeah. recovery people at Doing the top the, yeah. leading the way, because so, we get it. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the compassion is automatically there. My visit to Dayton, Ohio, also known as the overdose capital of the nation, showed me what the media won't show you and i want to share it with the rest of america this is dayton rising